What up all you salty swipers, it's Melder here and today I'm going to talk about my top 5 upcoming skins. Arc Knights is a game with a ton of really high quality skins coming from a variety of different really talented artists. And today I'm going to talk about my top 5 skins coming to the game in the future. And I'm also going to share the resources that I use to help me prepare and save Originite Prime so I can buy them. Before we get into the list, I'm going to talk about skins for just a brief moment. There are many different types of skins or how to get them. There are two types of purchasable skins. There are skins you can get from events, and then there are skins you can get from login rewards. So the two purchasable skins will be either 15 Originite Prime or 18 Originite Prime. And the differences between those two skins is the quality or addition of new animations that are paired with the base cosmetic. Now, event skins, they can either be bought from event stores, very similar to the silent skin, or you can earn them or buy them in the permanent shop for contingency contract, similar to this bagpipe skin. Now, the last bit is the login reward skins. Login reward skins are similar to this Ethan skin right here so as you log in throughout the days during an event you'll be able to get the skin for free now if you started playing recently or you may have missed buying out on a skin don't worry a lot of these skins will come back and be available for the outfit store during rerun events so if you missed a skin don't worry you'll most likely be able to buy it at some point in the future now let's get into the list my fifth place spot is going to go to Blue Poison. She's a five-star anti-air sniper, and this skin will be purchasable for 300 credits in the CC permanent shop come CC5, so get ready for that. And if you miss it, it's not a big deal. It'll still be there in the future CCs and in the permanent shop, so you don't need to worry. Now, a lot of you may know that I haven't built my Blue Poison yet because I just think her fashion sense is super whack on her base skin. I'm not sure what it is, but I just do not like her outfit. But this skin is a complete upgrade, and once I buy this skin, I'm an E2er instantly. You already know. My fourth place spot is going to go to this Province skin. She is a five-star close-range sniper, and I just think this the art of this skin is absolutely amazing. It has this whole wasteland, post-apocalyptic vibe. And I really feel that with this skin. Uh, she's got like these really cute ears on her hoodie. She has the classic purple wolf from her E2 art. She has the super floof tail that is absolutely necessary for this character. I, I love everything about it. Now, one of the best parts about this skin is it is a free skin. Free. You guys love free. I love free. This is a event shop reward skin so it's going to be super easy to acquire all you need to do is just play the event and you should be able to buy it easy clap no problems now i'm very happy that the devs aren't just feeding us super like they're, they're not feeding us the bottom of the barrel when it comes to a lot of the easy to acquire or free skins they're giving us quality all the way around and this skin is definitely proof of that the third place spot is going to go to the character that still has escaped me to this day, and I'm super salty about it. This is Flint. She's a five-star brawler guard, and I don't know what it is about Asling 4 art, but for some reason, no matter what they put out, I just want it, and I love it. And this is definitely no exception to that. I'm very much looking forward to this skin. This skin is going to come out probably around the second year anniversary, and it's going to be a 15 Originite Prime skin. I love how she's surrounded by the hanging flowers and the hummingbirds, which is the animal she's based after. I just think this is... A really beautiful skin for a beautiful character. Next up is going to be my boy Ayers Carp. He is a five-star ranged guard. And this skin is... This is one of the coolest skins coming out for sure, in my opinion. Like, the negative space on these, like, puzzle pieces around the skin. The color palette fits him super well. It's like the orange and the dark grays or browns. It just really works. The whole, like, factory workshop scenery in the background it's just super cool now this skin is going to be 15 originite prime and it's going to come out probably during the second year anniversary as well 
Uh, this is a Bloodline of Combat skin, so it's very similar to the Saria, or one of the Saria skins, and the Angelina skin. So you already know this skin line just cannot lose. It is just full of bangers, and this is definitely no exception. Now, this is definitely no surprise to any of you, but my top spot and my most anticipated skin is going to be the Schwartz skin. She is a six star close range sniper and one of my favorite characters in the entire game. This skin looks absolutely amazing. I really feel like it's true when I say Leduc can do no wrong, especially when it comes to Arknight's art. I mean, this skin is just incredible. It has, I just love the positioning of it, the way the buildings loom overhead to set the scene and she's right dead set in the middle looking down at us. I love how there's the Ceylon Bluebird Easter egg right here. I love her outfit. It definitely stays true to the athletic wear that Schwartz wears in her E-Zero art, but it adds more of a combat type feel, tactical feel to it, which is for good reason because this is the R6 collab event. Now that event, or the R6 collab event, is going to come in roughly two weeks. So right after Dusk and Saga come out, or, or their banner ends rather, I think it's about August 16th or so. I probably have the date wrong, but don't quote me on it. It's going to be mid-August. So this skin is right around the corner, and I am super excited for it. Now, this skin is going to cost you 18 Originite Prime, and I definitely think it is worth it. So if you love Schwartz and you have her, you have the OG ready for her. definitely buy this skin it is an insta cop now you're probably wondering how the heck does melder know this information what type of witchcraft are he and toby brewing in his closet uh there is no witchcraft involved guys this is just information on the internet uh, i'll post a link to this website in the description down below and if you want to get a better look at the skins you can also go to the a ship toolbox i'll post a link to that as well so this is the skin list on gamepress.gg. This is this shows every single skin that has been out for both us and Chinese server, the CN server. Now, not every single CN skin is going to come to global, but it's worth checking out for sure. Now, it'll show the event or how it's unlocked. It'll show the price. It'll show the release date for either CN, global, or both. And it'll show the name as well. So we can see the Fang skin. Everybody gets it for free. It costs nothing. You just buy it. You have to clear 0-11. But that's it. Even new players today can get that skin for free. We'll go all the way down. Scroll, 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 scroll. And don't, don't even look at these KFC skins. They do not exist for us. Just kind of forget about them. It is false hope for sure. Next up, we have the skins that are going to come out with the Dust Saga event. We have Doctor Faces, Just a Driver, Unfettered Freedom, and Tremble Cold. These are the four skins that we'll be getting for Dusk and Saga. The Whispering skin being a sign reward, which is absolutely amazing. This is such a high quality skin. You can see the prices here, 218 skins and 115. And the, there's no date for EN yet, but just know they're going to come out on the 30th of July. Now, if you want to see future skins that are way, way, way upcoming later on, you can scroll even more down. We have the Schwartz skin that I talked about, the Lord, Bless the Lord Tachanka for the R6 collab. You can see all of these skins, some of them I've already mentioned, and you can definitely check them out. That's how you know how to save. You can see the prices. You know how to get them. I'm not exactly sure in this website. Sources aren't exactly sure the date that they're going to come out for EN for two reasons. One, because we are on an accelerated schedule, guys, whether you like it or not. That's just how the game or the company, the devs, want us to catch up to CN. So we are accelerated. And two, last year they pulled this huge event switcheroo on us trying to push back dark knight's memoirs to tie in with the first year anniversary so they're probably going to do the same thing so any skins that came out in the passenger event 
and for the second year anniversary are most likely going to be pushed to the end of December, early January. And the skins that came after, or the events that came after those two events, are probably going to be sandwiched in between now and the second year anniversary. So some skins will come earlier, some skins will be pushed back later. I'm not 100% sure on this, but I am pretty sure on it, because that's what they did last time, and that's what they probably will do this time. Okay, y'all, that is going to do it for the video today. Hopefully that was even a little bit helpful. I just love talking about Ark Knights, so let me know what is the skin you want the most from the coming months and put that answer in the comment section down below. Also, I'm going to be doing a 12-hour stream on the 30th for the Dusk Saga event. We're going to be pulling over 100 times. I'm going to be doing viewer summons. I'm opening up account reviews to everybody with no restrictions. So if you want to be involved in that, definitely come check it out. I would love to have you. It's going to be a super fun time. Now, hopefully, you'll have a great rest of your day, rest of your week. If I don't see you for the Dust Saga event, bless your polls. Good luck. Get the bag. Secure the bag at all costs. And peace out. Hey,